our first look at the moments Hollywood police officers rushed to the scene on Wednesday, right after a banner plane slammed into North Park Road and burst into flames. Go back! Go back! 3325 Hollywood Boulevard, a plane just crashed. Okay, where, what, what's right in front of, what city? It's right in front of Target. Onlookers called 911 and police pushed people back away from the burning plane. According to investigators, the pilot, 28-year-old Mitchell Noss, was an experienced flyer, but only had 13 to 15 hours of time in the cockpit of this Piper PA-25. A little after noon Wednesday, air traffic controllers started to notice he was losing altitude, and at first, Noss tells them he has everything under control. Banner Zero Alpha Bravo, are you okay, sir? I'm showing you at 600 feet now. Yeah, I'm good now. Zero Alpha Bravo, sorry, climb. But only moments later, Noss got back on the radio, saying things were not improving. Yeah, I might have to drop this banner. I'm not climbing. Zero Alpha Bravo. He dropped the banner with hopes the plane would begin climbing again, but he couldn't regain control. It was just a nose dive. It was just bang. And it kind of caught on fire. Oh my God, no way. Unfortunately, Noss would die on the scene. And now National Transportation Safety Board investigators are working to figure out what went wrong. And you can see just across the street from us here where this happened, there are some flowers that have been laid out. We have seen some people coming by to just see where this all was. The plane was operated by Aerial Banners, Inc. They are based at North Perry Airport. We did go by there yesterday. They told us basically they can't talk about this until the NTSB investigation is complete. We can tell you this pilot. He, according to his social media, uh, his social media is a military veteran. He was an avid flyer, loved to travel. We are still hoping to learn just a bit more about him. And of course, as soon as we hear more about the cause, We'll let you know. Live in Hollywood, I'm Ian Margul, Local 10 News. Certainly a tragedy there. Okay, Ian, thanks.